Okay, first up, roll up. So we're gonna take some hair, bring it to the back, and do a little topsy tail. Then we're gonna take some hair from the front on one side and flip it right over and through. Do that on the other side and then repeat again. And again. Now I took some hair and just tied it in a knot back here. You don't really have to do that. But then we're gonna take all that hair and just stuff it right over and through in the back. Now I'm just pulling out some little pieces to loosen it up, play with some details, and voila, the roll up do. Next up, we're gonna do two boho braids. So first I just took some hair out on the top that I'm gonna deal with after. Now I'm gonna do two braids on either side. Now we're gonna take that hair from the top and then just start working it into the braids really, really loosely, leaving out some pieces so you get that nice boho vibe. And same thing on the other side. Okay, a knotty braid. So we're just gonna take some hair from the front and tie a knot in the back. Take some more hair from the front and tie another knot over that one. And a third knot. And then at the bottom here, I just took the rest of the hair in two pieces and did a little fishtail braid. So you're just taking a couple of dreads at a time and working them back and forth. Then I took my hair wrap that was kind of sticking out longer than everything else and just tied that around to secure it at the end. Ta-da! Now we're gonna go for a classic dreadlock bow, little Minnie Mouse style. So we're gonna do a half bun on the top, leaving the tail in the back. Take that bun and split it into two. Take that tail from the back, twist it around, and just stuff it right there in the middle under the elastic. Then you can kind of pull out that bow on either side, and we are done. This is kind of my favorite like wedding style. So we're gonna take a little bun here in the back, leaving out the front. And then we're gonna take the front and do a braid on one side. I'm just leaving out a couple of pieces intentionally for like a little tendril action. And then we're gonna take the other side and do another little braid. And then we're just swooping those braids right around the bun in the back and just stuffing it in. Ta-da! side braid. The trick with braids is you really need to work in sections with dreadlocks because otherwise it just gets too big. So I took maybe a third of my hair and did a braid on one side. Now I'm taking some of the hair from the back and doing another braid. And then I'm just going to twist those together and secure at the bottom. Then I'm taking the rest of my hair and doing another braid. And then I'm just going to kind of stuff that right through the middle and work it back and forth through the braid. Nice ballerina bun for you. So we're gonna take all the hair from the back and do a pretty high bun right on top, just kind of twisting it around. I'm using an elastic because that's just easier. <laughs> Then we're gonna take the hair from the front and do a braid. And then we're just gonna swoop that right around the bun and stuff it in. <laughs> Now 
Okay, my favorite topsy tails. So we're gonna take some hair from the front, secure it in the back, loop it through twice, and we're gonna take some more hair and repeat that again. And we're gonna take some more and repeat that again. This is kind of giving me Khaleesi vibes right now. And again. And then again, I had to kind of turn to the side because my arms didn't reach. Then at the end, I just kind of took some hair wraps where you can take some dreads and just wrap it back and forth around and just secure that to kind of tie it off. Voila. Okay, this is just kind of a very easy little twist on a typical knot to tie your hair back. So we're gonna do a knot and then we're just gonna take the ends and start rolling them through to either side just to give it a little more interest and so they don't stick out so much. So I wrapped it back through twice on either side. There we go. Okay, classic pineapple ponytail. Um, this one's hard to film, so I took some hair from underneath, did a cross in the back, and then another cross in the front, and then a tie of a knot in the back. And that is it. Alright, I wanted to give myself kind of a swoopy bang, so I just did a little side updo here, just created a bun on one side, used an elastic because it's easier, <laughs> and then I took some hair from the other side, gave myself sort of a little swoopy bang situation, and just kind of wrapped the rest of the pieces back and forth on either side. All right, got no elastic, need to do a bun. So we're gonna take the top half and just put that up, tucking the tails in to secure. And then we're gonna take one section on one side, wrap it around. You're going in opposite directions here with each piece. So I'm using four sections. Take my back two and you're just kind of crisscrossing them, twisting them, opposite directions, and then stuffing the tails in. And you wouldn't believe actually how secure that really is. Okay, number 13, our last style. I just went for a simple little knotty mohawk action. So I just split my hair into four sections, starting at the top and working my way down and tying knots. <laughs> so that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you got some ideas and inspiration for some dread styles. Let me know if you want to see more of this kind of thing, and I'll see you on the next video.